In the middle of Israel's Negev desert, an oasis of cybersecurity innovation is blossoming. A number of factors, both local and global, have encouraged the development of this cyber tech center in Israel's largest southern city, Beersheba. A substantial transfer of IDF facilities to this desert hub has already attracted multinationals as they look to stay near the army's tech-savvy workforce. Ben-Gurion University's fresh pool of talent and the foresight of some local pioneers are also reasons. What we've seen about four years ago is that there is a whole new wave of cyber attacks coming to hit many of the uh, uh, federal agencies as well as the corporations out there. And we thought that's an excellent ecosystem to create a whole new set of companies in that space. Israeli venture capital firm JVP first opened its Beersheva Cyber Labs office two years ago, well before other big names started to take notice of Israel's southern capital. Even a few years ago, camels were a common sight here, along stretches of dusty dirt roads, which now are buffered by shiny new centers filled with IT whizzes, defense buffs, and cyber innovators. Ronan Yehoshua, the CEO of Morphisec, works in the field of polymorphic defense, which he says would have prevented security breaches on companies like Target and Office Depot. Hackers are all, all the time uh, improve their techniques. They build new types of attacks. The security measures try to understand what are those techniques. They build new mechanisms in order to uh, defend against them, and the attackers learn them and again build a new type of attacks in order to overcome them. So this is a never-ending cycle. Coronet specializes in the mobile phone and Wi-Fi space. Everybody protects uh, against the upper levels, the application operating system levels, and nobody is uh, focusing on that world. And wherever there is a world that is unfocused, that's where the attackers go. Still, Beersheba has long been an overlooked destination in Israel. Locals often preferring the lush coastline with its lively nightlife. We're standing right here in the middle of the Negev Desert, and all this cyber tech development that you can see right here behind me actually fits in right along with the government's plan to expand business and commerce outside of the center. Global tech companies are also fueling interest in Beersheba. EMC, Lockheed Martin, Oracle, and IBM have all opened up excellent centers here. And Beersheba is starting to see the same big exits traditionally seen in Tel Aviv. In March, eBay's PayPal bought startup SciActive for $65 million. With a sum like that, it's hard not to take Beersheva seriously.